Welcome back to my channel. This video is a mailbox makeover with a landscape design. This is how my mailbox used to look. I had bricks surrounding this dirt area and then I filled that in with um, black mulch and as you can see the mulch has faded over time and collected leaves. So now I'm about to fix it up. But while you're watching, do me a favor and subscribe to my channel and like this video. Now let's get to it. The first thing that I did was I dug up all this old mulch from around my mailbox. I also had to pull up the landscape fabric that I put down some years ago. Then I placed down the bricks that I was going to use and once I got them in the layout that I wanted, I spray painted the design with some red spray paint to mark the spot. I got this Edge Master from Lowe's not too long ago and I'm going to use it to carve out the outline. After the outline was made, I took my handy spade shovel and I dug up the rest of the grass that was in the area. If you're one of my usual followers, then you know by now that I like to use the Dollar Tree Drop Cloth as my plastic foundation because I am so over landscape fabric. It doesn't work and to me it's just a waste of time and money. And this is the concrete that I'm going to use to lay down my brick border. Looking back on this now, I probably should have applied the concrete mixture, half of it to the plastic and then half of it to the ground itself. But then again, I, it seemed to have hold just fine. I'll have to give you guys an update later on. Oh, and I used the mallet to level out some of the bricks. Here, I didn't worry about any spillage because I was going to be applying some more bricks in this area. So I cut through the plastic and then I dug a small little trench in order to get the rest of my bricks um, standing in a vertical position. And I just applied some more of the concrete mixture inside the trench and I made sure the plastic was in there as well so that it definitely will hold. And then I placed each brick in place. These are the two types of landscaping rocks that I used to fill my mailbox area. Surprisingly, I ended up using a lot more bags than I thought I would need. I ended up using 10 bags of the marble rocks and three bags of the gray rocks.
and here I am just mixing the rocks up I chose to just do it with my feet it seemed a lot easier at the time In order to lock the bricks in place and give it a more finished look, I took some of the leftover concrete in the sand form, the dry sand form, and I just sprinkled it in between the cracks of the bricks. Then I swept off any leftovers with my broom. and I sprinkled some water on it with my water hose. And this is how the bricks look the next day. The next part of my project, I took this fast setting concrete mixture and I'm going to make concrete orbs. I got this idea from another YouTube video that I saw. I'm going to take this old kickball that my son doesn't use anymore and I'm going to cut a hole at the top of it and put the ball inside of this pot of dirt. Then I'm going to spray the inside of it with some cooking oil and then pour my concrete mixture inside of it. three days later and this is how it turned out. Now I'm just gonna take my box cutter and I'm gonna cut away the rubber ball. Now it turned out to have a bit of a flat surface at the bottom, but that's okay. That's gonna be the bottom of it. No one's gonna see it. In order to make a smaller ball, this was the best that I could find, this puzzle case that I got from Dollar Tree. But it has a few holes in it, so I'm going to have to tape this up so that the concrete doesn't seep through the holes. And then I also cut a hole at the top of it so I'll be able to pour the concrete inside. And then I use a basketball for a slightly bigger concrete orb. In order to fill in the lines that the rubber balls left, I mixed up a little bit more concrete and I made it a very wet mixture. And I just kind of dabbed the mixture into the cracks and then smoothed it out with my finger. Then I set it aside to dry for like five, maybe 10 minutes. And then I took my sandpaper and I went over it and I smoothed it out so that it'll blend with the rest of the circle. I 
I surprisingly got these plants on sale at Home Depot. I thought they were $18 each, but when I got to the register, they were half off. So I got both of these for $18. This is the Lily Turf Big Blue. And I dug a hole in my gravel and I planted each of the plants and I made sure to give them a good dose of plant food. Hopefully I could keep them alive. They weren't perfect, but I really do like the way that these concrete orbs came out. And I think they look so modern and so chic next to these beautiful plants. And there it is. My mailbox is looking good with its new rock garden. Well, yeah, I could call it a rock garden with my new rock garden landscape. Thank you guys again for watching this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe to my channel, and ring the bell for future notifications. And... Like always, I will catch you guys next time. Bye.